course. Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to be looking at using conditional formatting and how that can work when we're using a RAG status, as we're going to go in this example, uh, to tell us uh, basically what the current status or the health of a particular item is. So for those who don't know, uh, a RAG status is just a way of assigning um, a status to an item uh, to determine um, how, and I'll use the word how healthy it is, but it's more to understand which is your points to look at and which things are doing very well. So RAG is made up of three colours, so you've got red, amber, green, so obviously the abbreviations or taking the first letter of each of those gives you the word RAG. And what we we'll often do is with projects, um, you will assign each project uh, one of those um, statuses and then obviously what that status does is indicates to the viewer who's looking at this information uh, how each of those projects is um, progressing. So an example might be uh, green is obviously good, is the best thing in what everything should be. Uh, amber is something where, okay, there's some, maybe some slight concerns or is slightly behind, um, but nothing too concerning. And red would be where uh, a project is maybe very uh, gone past the end day or there's some serious problems as to why this project's not going to get delivered. Um, what we're going to be doing is we've used a, a drop down, what we've pre-populated here already. Uh, so you can see if we go into that example there, 9.3. And if you're not familiar with how you can use data validation to get these um, drop down lists, check out our video, what we've done previously on that. And the link to that video should now be on the screen. Uh, we won't be going into that in this video, but let's say if you check out that previous video we've done, that will bring you up to speed on how to do these drop down lists. So what we're going to do is use conditional formatting uh, to be able to do some uh, auto uh, population of the cell's contents, predominantly the cell's background. So as you can see here, we've got our three options. So if we were to select green in line three, it's great that it's given the green here, but what we want to do is again, use that conditional formatting to now populate the, the background color of this cell to be green. It just makes it stand out a lot more on the page. And especially when you're trying to um, look at a number of projects, obviously we've got five in our example here, um, but if you're looking at a lot more, then it's a lot easier to look down the colors and you can really see where those um, problem areas might be. So not too much detail to really talk through here, but just to give you a quick overview, you can see we've got, um, we'll just populate a basic project name, uh, one to five, and we'll just put some randomly generated uh, start and end dates here. And you can see um, who the owner of each project is, just to give a bit more detail here, rather than only doing a single column for rag status. And this is where we're gonna be populating this automatic um, color update in column E. So what we'll do first is we will just select the range at which we want to study. Well, not to study, but where you want to pop this conditional formatting. You could select the column as a whole if you know you're going to be adding more rows, and this could be an advisable way of doing it. But for our example, we'll just be uh, more particular by just selecting this uh, range that we have populated here for the five projects. So upon selecting your range here, you then want to go in the home section of your um, ribbon at the top here. Well, just off the middle, you'll see you've got the option for conditional formatting. So if we select that, and then we can go down to a new rule. And you'll get this pop-up box, what comes up onto your screen. So let's just move that to the side there. So what we're going to do here is you've got many options when you're dealing with conditional formatting. But the one we're going to look at particularly here is this second one, format only cells that contain. So if we select onto there. And then this is the information we need to populate to be able to get our um, automatic colors. So what we have here is got the first part is cell value. So we can select a number of um, options. So we could have if there's errors, there's blanks, um, or any other different um, scenario. But for us, we want specific text because the information that we're going to have is going to be either the words green, amber, or red. The second part here, you can see it's just now updated because some of the fields are different for this one here. And then we can say, we could say in the second part what we want it to contain or not contain or end with or begin with. But all we want to do is just do containing. And the first one we'll do is green. Um, so for each of these options that we have in our drop down, we need to do um, a particular rule for each of those options. So we'll do one for green, one for amber, and one for red. Um, ultimately, because they have different formatting, obviously, in those different colors. So for green, uh, we've put specific text containing, and we just need to type in here just the word green. You can get more complex if um, oh, this, this sort of moving away from egg status now. You could get more complex and put formulas into this bar here or anything you want to do. But again, for example, just bringing it back, very simple, just type the word in there. 
Once you've done that, you just go into the format option and you can see we have various options that we can format um, the text or this for this conditional formatting. But for our simple example, we're just going to do fill. So if you go to your fill tab and then you can just select the color that you require. So for us, we want just a nice strong green and we've got one here. You could obviously go into uh, more effects or more colors and that will bring up the palette option. But I think this green will do well for us now. So select OK. And then you can see a preview here now of what will happen. So where the value green is in our range, you will get this green background with the black text. So all you do is go OK. And you can see it's already updated and populated that option we had there for green. So if we were to change this selection here and make that amber, obviously we have done the conditional formatting and there's none set for amber, so nothing will happen here. But for any other one, if we select the option of green, you can see that that background will update for that. Let's just do one more at the top here. Let's select green, and then you can see green there. So what we need to do is just repeat the steps uh, for now amber and red. So we'll just go through those now so you can get um, extra clarity on to do it. So all we need to do is go down to new rule. We're going to format only cells that contain specific text containing this one we'll do amber. We'll go to our format button and we'll find an amber color. So we'll go for this uh, orange over the side here. OK. And then once you've done that, OK again. And you can see it's just now populated that amber option we had there as well. And lastly, we just need to go in and do our red. So we go into new rule again. Format only cells that contain specific text containing, and this one will be a red. We can format, go into a nice red. OK. And then OK again. And that's now all completely populated. So we can now go in here and you can see if we select red, we're going to get that red color. And if we go into this last one here, maybe we'll have another amber. And then we go amber. And there you can see we've got that. So this is just a really nice way to highlight and make those um, statuses stand out. Um, and if you haven't used this before, then obviously this is a very suggestible way to help manage your work or your items uh, to give them a status just so we can see how the color or use the color as a way of indicating what is doing very well or what's not doing so well. Obviously, we just formatted the background there, but as you would see, when you go into your format section of the conditional formatting, you can change the text, um, like if you want it in italic or bold, or even to change the color of the text, you could have the text disappear or com completely as well. If you formatted the text color to be the same as the background, then obviously you just see a color rather than any text there as well. So that's another option that you could do. Um, so we hope you found that very useful. And if you're researching for how to use uh, this rag status, then hopefully that has uh, solved and answered your question. Or if you didn't know about these previously, then again, that's hopefully a new um, trick you can start using and applying to your work. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you're notified of any future videos that we have coming out. Uh, and on that note, you might want to hit that bell notification button just to make sure that you are notified when any new videos come out. We've got some links in the description of this video below for our website and Facebook if you have any questions and want to check those out. Alternatively, feel free to drop any comments below this video for any questions that you may have and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.